You're in the Business Insurance Zone with me, Steve Savant, National Insurance Columnist and Financial Color Commentator. And all today and this week, we're talking on Section 162, and today we're talking about 162 double bonus. We're not only going to pay the bonus, but now we're going to pay the tax. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Well, welcome everyone to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm your host, Steve Savant, and we're broadcasting live to a nationwide audience of financial professionals right here in Fountain Hills, Arizona, home of America's Largest Fountain. And with me, day two, Ken Davis. Welcome to the show, Ken. Hey, Stephen. Good to see you. Well, we're talking to Ken Davis, CLU, CHFC, CFP, and CPA. Wow. <laughs> There's a mouthful. <laughs> And we've been talking about Ken's ability to be a liaison between our industry, the insurance industry, and the fiduciary market. And of course, a lot of times we only have to worry about that on the higher end stuff. But really, in 162, sometimes I'm surprised, Ken. CPAs, they don't know about this section of the code. No, they really don't. So I'm surprised. So if you ever say, I need somebody to kind of help me, Ken's available to talk. He's an outside consultant with us and a guest on our show frequently. And if you want to catch this, sometime about a week or so from now, you want to go out to Producers Web. Ken's got a great article coming up here on 162 bonus, and I think you're going to really enjoy it. He really lays it out. And the best part about it, your writing, by the way, Ken, yeah. it's not MBA. <laughs> I can actually get it on the first pass. I'm not sitting there with my Webster's Dictionary or what's that? Uh, I think it's called Investopedia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. Because I have to always check on the grammar. I go, what, what does this word mean? Yeah. So you're very good about Thank explaining you. it, and I really like it. And that's why Ken's a, a very well-read blogger out there, an article writer, all over the net and of course we send his stuff out as well because we think it really helps producers. Thank you Steve. Appreciate well listen that. let's talk about it. We talked about the executive going ahead and bonusing and I think that's great but now he gets to write it off and that's a really good plug for the corp or for the employer yeah, but now I've received it as the employee well that's compensation I got to pay tax on that. Right the employer of the business gets the deduction the employee has to take it into income. Now let, let's set that up properly. What's interesting is while uh, that's true, the, the, now that the employer has the deduction on that, they can afford then to pay a cash bonus in addition to the premium payment. So in the first segment we talked about just the premium being paid, but then the employee has to pay tax on it, which is still a good deal for the employee, but uh, they're used to qualified plans where they don't have to pay mm -hmm. any taxes on those contributions unless it's a Roth type of concept which is really what we're talking about mm -hmm. here. And the second scenario and the versions we're going to be discussing, the historical one is simply to pay the employee a cash bonus. That's deductible by the employer too. Mm -hmm. Okay, And so then the employee has taxation on the first premium bonus. Now they've got cash to pay the tax but this is where it gets silly is now they have to pay tax on the bonus to pay the tax. It's one of these crazy iterative, iterative mm -hmm. calculations. But basically for a 40% tax paying employee for federal and state taxes, uh, you can tack on about 60 to 70%. So if you're paying 10 grand, you pay them a six or $7,000 bonus. So now there's 16 to $17,000 of taxable mm -hmm. income and they use that cash to pay those taxes, mm -hmm. okay? And the beauty of it for the employer is, while it looks like they're paying maybe 16 or 17, because of their deduction, depending upon the type of entity, mm -hmm. they may get enough tax relief to pretty much pay for that cash bonus. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the illustrative software uh, that we're going to use will actually show this is the employer's portion, and this is what's mm -hmm. happened to them. Here's the employee's portion. This is what happens to them, and the collateral material is. There's material for the agent to explain it to them. There's actually some materials for the attorneys and accountants to help mm -hmm. them with their deep research and the sample documents. There is then uh, support to the employer itself from their perspective and then documents written collateral for the employee. So everybody's covered on this thing. But so it, it works really, really pretty cool is premium gets paid, cash gets paid to the employee to pay the taxes. The employee, from their perspective, it feels like a qualified plan. Mm -hmm. They're paying tax, but they get the cash to do it. Mm -hmm. And it really doesn't come out of their day-to-day -day budget. Well, I like that because this is just one of the traditional ways to actually do what we call a 162 double bonus. I'm getting bonused on my original compensation for maybe being a rainmaker or a key exec or middle manager maybe an administrator that's controlling the operations of the company, right? Don't forget those people, they're quality. Right. 
but I'm also now getting bonus my tax money to pay for that. Right. Now, now interesting enough, Ken, we're going to talk about this throughout the week. We're talking today about the traditional executive, the employer paying the bonus and fronting the tax for the employee. But tomorrow and Thursday, we're going to take a different twist on this and we're going to show you how to do this. Now, I said in our first show yesterday, remember, maybe you're a whole life vendor. You like interest rate par driven contracts. Well, you can use it for this. Sure. Maybe you say, oh, no, I like current assumption UL. I like the flexibility. I kind of like not, no, I kind of like in the interest rate market. I'm really not a security or a person who likes indexing. Because there's people out there that right, are still sure. excited about that. Sure, but then there, we have people that love indexes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It could be foreign, it could be domestic, sitting on a UL chassis, a universal life chassis. And some people even say, Steve, I know all that, but I still like the equity markets and bond markets. I kind of like to still play in the variable area. So there's four different mortality chassis that you can select to do a 162 bonus, or in today's show we're talking about 162 double bonus. Well, and the beauty of this, I think, from the perspective of the agent, is all the things we're talking about, tax deferral, tax free loans, tax free distributions, tax free death benefit, our, our agents know all this stuff. This is their cash value policy. And of course, we design those policies to maximize the cash, minimize the insurance, so the rates of return are really quite excellent and, and are defensible in front of the gatekeepers like attorneys and accountants. But uh, all we're adding on to it is a way to incorporate it into an employer benefit mm -hmm. for the employee. So there's not a whole lot of new material to learn here. Just some real basic stuff mm -hmm. that helps them go to the street and actually get some sales. And we'll send this all to you. Just write me at thebiz at brokersalliance.com or call us 1-800-290-7226 and we'll send you this material. Happy to do so. Remember, you can contact me right on the, that address, thebiz at brokersalliance.com or call our toll-free number 1-800-290-7226. And don't forget, you can watch this show and all our shows right on our website, www.brokersalliance.com. As soon as you come to the home page. You're listening to the insurance industry's number one resource for products, planning ideas, carrier information, and interviews you can use. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Companies in our business are always touting service, products, and underwriting. And we do that too. But here's the difference. Now enter the world of the elite producer with a value package that cuts us out of the pack, a BD that approves social media marketing of non-FINRA products and doesn't take an override. With the best competition desk in the industry, and for our loyal producers, a true group health plan. No one offers that. Brokers Alliance does. Well, welcome back to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm Steve Savant, your host, and of course our guest with us here, Ken Davis, and we're talking about 162 double bonus. But remember, before moving forward with anything you hear on this show, especially when we're talking about tax strategies, Always consult your tax attorney or tax CPA, whoever's doing your taxes, as well as if you're FINRA licensed, don't forget to check in with your compliance department before moving forward. And speaking about compliance for FINRA, remember our broker dealer is very, very I would call it soft or very warm to us to talk about in communication non-FINRA products. So if you say, boy, my broker dude takes a haircut, ours doesn't. If you're interested in that, just call me 1-800-290-7226 and I'll show you who we're playing with and I think you'll enjoy it. They're low cost and yes, as I said yesterday, they're e and 70 a month for full coverage. I think wow. that's a pretty good price. Yeah, I'll say. Ken, we're talking about not only the bonus like we talked about yesterday in this first segment today, but I want to pay anytime I can give a perk to a rainmaker or an operational guru or an admin person that's running the show, and I can say, not only am I giving you a bonus, but I'm even going to give you the money to pay the tax on that bonus, I think that's significant. Yeah, I think it's important. It, it lets the employee know that they're cared for. I've always liked this 162 bonus because the employee owns that policy, gets to control mm -hmm. it, gets to make the investment choices or index choices depending upon what kind of policy. Just a straight, you know, whole life, obviously, there's no choice there. And they get to choose the beneficiaries. Uh, and the, the double bonus uh, gives them the cash to pay for that. And, uh, you know, that's actually, we're, we're trying to replace a 401k limits type of mm -hmm. thing. And the employee's actually having to come out of pocket for that. So even if the employee had to pay taxes on the first bonus, just a single bonus, mm -hmm. still a good deal for them. Sure. Okay, because and it becomes a Roth type, you know. Now, uh, we may have structure. a better idea though, Thursday. We do have some better ideas. By the way, Ken, so. before we get too far into this, because I don't want to assume anything, why are we using life insurance at all with a 162? There's tax issues there. 
Well, yeah, of course, all the normal tax benefits of a life policy is the tax deferral on the earnings within the policy and then either tax-free loans or tax-free withdrawals, assuming we meet our MEC tests and all the other stuff we know about with life insurance, and of course, death benefit. And, you know, we've been talking about the economic aspects of it, and these numbers really look quite good. We can squeeze down the cost when it's designed properly. 200 to 100 to 200 basis points below what the average credited interest rate mm -hmm. is. So if you actually achieved an 8%, you might have 6 or 7. If you achieved a 7%, you might have 5 or 6. Okay, mm -hmm. So tax benefits are there. And then ultimately, when we get into a restrictive endorsement thing, there's a way for the employer to control uh, and, and give a, an incentive for the employee to hang around. Mm -hmm. And that's when we get into these other options with the double bonus, we're going to be talking about incentives to keep the employee mm -hmm. around because that's what the employer wants to do is first they want to incent the employee, give them something that makes them feel good about being there, or when they're recruiting, they can say, hey, look what we do for you, right? Mm -hmm. And it helps bring in new people. And the, some employers say, well, Jim, put all this money in. I'd, I'd really like to make sure they don't walk out the door. So we're going to be talking mm -hmm. about that later on as well. Well, I like the idea of double bonus where I'm getting my compensation. I'm also getting the taxes that I'm going to have to pay on that compensation fronted to me. And we're going to talk about different ways to do that. Mm -hmm. But now I'm pulling strategic withdrawals to basis and policy loans of gain as long as you keep the contract in force. Right. We bought the lowest suppressed death benefit under the code, right, so that right. we can actually keep right. those expense loads down. Our goal, Ken and I want to keep the internal expense loads of the contract down as low as we can. So we're always going to select whatever cost of insurance, whether it's level or whether it's increasing, to figure out which way is the cheapest way to do it and why. Because we want to be able to pull all this money out tax-free. So there's a lot of double, this 162 double bonus has huge issues during the front, up front for the employer and the employee. But now for the employee later on, we're talking about tax-free income and Ken. If this income is coming out withdrawals to bases and policy loans to gain, I'm not. This part of my portfolio is not causing my Social Security to get taxed. That's right. Uh, that is a tax, <coughs> non-taxable event, and that becomes important in retirement. One of the things I wanted to point out, Steve, is you taught me years ago, and and I know that you've, your whole uh, organization here does this, but. You know, agents have gotten used to the fact that they can pick certain options in software when they illustrate themselves. Mm -hmm that uh, will do what you're talking about. However, you and I both know that you can squeeze it down tighter mm -hmm. than what the automatic features do. And we also know there are special features on particular products and companies out there, and it, particularly when it comes to the no loan provisions. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when the, uh, the loan cost is, is uh, paid and when it's credited, what the spreads are, whether mm -hmm. it's a guaranteed situation or whether it's a, a maybe mm -hmm. and, right, and dependent. Right, so, right. so not only are these concepts important, but having uh, people that are specialists that know how to squeeze it down, to lock it mm -hmm. in contractually, make sure that it's the right product designed for this kind of thing. And of course, underwriting is critical. Uh, I know I used to, I was surprised when I started thinking about the fact that with super preferred, preferred, uh, standard plus and standard, mm -hmm that just squeezing out the very best underwriting in the positive categories, not the stem, substandard issue, but mm -hmm. the positive, adds to this whole thing too. So all these little factors mm -hmm. that are managed, not only just putting this concept in place, because this concept's been around for everybody ever, and there's mm -hmm. plenty of materials on it, but it's actually coming to an independent brokerage that really knows how to select and design makes all the difference in the you world. Know, sometimes when I have a 162, Ken, I may not choose the employee as my insured. The employee can receive the money, That's but true. I might, if his wife, in this case, let's say male or female, if his wife actually is a better deal, cost of insurance, that's one of the flexibilities of another 162. I don't have to necessarily go with the employee, but I do have to go with the in insured who's got the best cost of insurance. That's a great idea, Steve. So keep it in mind, remember, we're looking at all this for you, so we're, we got your back on this. I want to make the best actuarial mortality chassis to fit within my 162 double bonus and really hit a home run for the client to keep our expenses low. Don't forget to watch this show and all our shows right on our on-demand section as soon as you hit our website, www.brokersalliance.com. That's the buzz on the biz for the day. You're in the zone, the business insurance zone. The biz is brought to you by Brokers Alliance, a national leader in insurance products, support services, and educational workshops. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use.